Hey everyone, this is Kit Maher and Alange. And we're here at the kitchen for stop two of the Best in Mass mac and cheese mm -hmm. search. Yeah. yeah, so today we're, the kitchen is a place that prides itself on providing comfort food all day long and we're really gonna cash in on that with the back, the mac and cheese are making for us. Mac and cheese is comfort food, that's what we're here for, and yeah. that's what they do. Yeah, so they have two kinds that they're gonna make for us. One is just original kind, and then the second is buffalo. Yeah, buffalo. buffalo. Not buffalo chicken, but buffalo. Um, so they're adding some buffalo sauce in it to give mm -hmm. it some heat. But they said that you could come here, and um, if you order their mac and cheese, which is on their menu all day, you, um, they're, waitress would say oh how do you want that done do you want anything added into it so yeah. this is a place as well that you can get um, mix-ins into your mac and cheese although it's not on the menu on the menu yeah. it just says mac and cheese but you can get whatever you want all right so let's go talk to the chef and head on in this is the kitchen hey hi. can you introduce yourself for hi. our followers i'm amanda i'm here i am a Supervisor, I do the front counter. Wonderful. Yeah. And we're gonna be trying the mac and cheese today, so we're gonna head back in the kitchen. Awesome. All right. All right. Thank you, Amanda. So here's the first plate of mac and cheese. And then he's whipping up the buffalo, right? Okay. Hey there. Say hello to Mass Live. Hello, Mass Live peeps. <laughs> there we go. All right, so show us what you're gonna make in, and then this is our second flavor, and explain about the add-ins, how they can have whatever they'd like. You just gotta ask for it. Absolutely, okay. So we made one bowl already. Sorry, babes, you missed that. Yeah. <laughs> one bowl of regular mac and cheese. So what we do at the kitchen is we pre-bake our mac and cheese, and included in this is a, is a heck of a lot of butter, yeah. uh, Parmesan cheese, American cheese, elbow macaroni, and it's baked and ready to go. Um, the night before? So we make it the day up. Day up. Okay, so each great. day we make it uh, and, and get ready. It's very, very popular, so we have to have a lot on hand. So simply to prep it now for table service and for consumption, we like to take a, a nice portion of the, the baked mac and cheese, okay. okay, and we're going to add it in to a little bit of half and half. Turn down that heat just a little bit. We add in the half and half. We add in the half and half and our mac and cheese. Okay, so our mac and cheese pre-made, uh, baked, is with American cheese and Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna just turn the heat down just a little bit. We don't want to burn. Yeah, no problem. Okay, right. and we're gonna add American cheese and cheddar cheese. We're gonna melt those in. And how long does that usually take to melt? Like a couple minutes? Yeah, just a yeah. couple of minutes. We don't want to overcook it. And you're we adding don't the cheese, dry but it's it not cheesy enough as it is. It's not cheesy enough with Parmesan and American. We want to give it a little more bite, so we add in the cheddar. Great. And finally, we are going to add in provolone. Wonderful. So, so it's melting up nicely. You said the buffalo and the regular are the menu items. So the menu items include a regular baked mac and cheese, which is what this is, and then we prepare it for, for uh, table service within the, the fry pan itself. Uh, but you can also have chili mac. So chili included in your mac and cheese. You can have buffalo mac. You can have it with chicken or without chicken. You can have Cajun mac. You can have pickle mac. You can have hot dog mac. You can, any way you can think of anything that's on our menu, that's the way you can have your mac and cheese. So I'm gonna add in the provolone. It's hard to tell at any given time which one is more popular. Okay. Kinda goes with the season. Yeah, what's popular right now? Straight up mac and cheese. Straight Be up? Because it's cold out. Yeah, because people want cold. that comfort yeah. food. As you get around the 4th of July and, uh, and summer months, buffalo becomes very popular. Why the hot and spicy? I love bacon mac. Yeah. Bacon mac is so popular. And you know what? Folks are getting it for breakfast. <laughs> we serve breakfast all day at the kitchen. So here we go. Buffalo sauce. Buffalo sauce right here. Um, how spicy is it on a scale of 1 to 10? On a scale of one to ten, it's about a six, seven. Okay. Yep. So manageable. Very manageable. The Cajun, on the other hand, is about a nine and a half. Okay. That's very spicy. That's a wake-up call. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, mac and cheese sticks to your bones as it is, and you add the Cajun to it, boy, oh, boy. So I know the kitchen, it prides itself on providing comfort food all day long. Is that what you guys are all about? We're all about the comfort food. Yeah. Absolutely. And mac and cheese, is that one of your all-time comfort foods? 
I would definitely say that mac and cheese is number one. Number Follow, one comfort food. Absolutely. <laughs> Followed by uh, grilled cheese, and we've even done as an experiment grilled cheese mac and cheese. Grilled cheese mac and cheese? Yep. Where you layer the mac and cheese on the inside. So what we do is we take the cut portion, we cut it down, you put it directly on a flat top grill, and you braise it on each side. Uh, that and sounds then you, great. And you're doing your bread for the for the grilled cheese, and finally you press it all together. And, Oh my god. Grilled cheese mac and cheese. Grilled cheese mac and cheese. That sounds great. I cannot wait to try this. So buffalo mac. There we go. Oh, I can, I can smell the spices. Yep. I didn't make it too, too spicy. It so almost looks like a really cheap cheddar. It does. Yeah. Well, that's the color that's added yeah, by yeah. the buffalo. So it'll be, a, right. it'll be a light taste. That's okay. So the mac and cheese is made, and we're gonna head on over to the counter where we can try it. Elange, are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah. I okay. usually don't get buffalo sauce on anything, so Thank this will Yeah. So we have two different types, as I mentioned. We're here at the kitchen in Longmeadow, which, and they are offering comfort food all day long. They've got breakfast all day long. Mac and cheese all day long. It's also on the kids' menu, but it is the kids' menu, and yep. it's called That's munchies. Yep, okay. for the for the kids, they love a kids' portion. Kids, kids Check love it. Out. So really regular mac and cheese and a all buffalo right. mac. Okay. What do you want to try first? Let's just try the regular. Yeah, let's try the regular. We're gonna see. And you got breadcrumbs on top. Yeah. Breadcrumbs on top. Seasoned breadcrumbs. Oh yeah. That is not your average craft mac and cheese right there. <laughs> it's not. And so you use the um, same it's, type of noodles each too? Yes. Yeah. So okay, we great. use the same elbow macaroni. Wonderful. It's a quality product. It really is. It tastes really good. I get a lot of that bite with the provolone that you were talking yep. about. I yep. love that. Where it's like, I don't even, it's hard almost. Like the cheese mm -hmm. hits you like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. that stuff. So adding in the variety of cheeses really brings out the flavor of cheese and it gives a different experience every time. Cheese is a natural product, so it Well, it has layers. Stuff. I like this mac and cheese. It has a little bit of layers, so you have that top where you get the bread breadcrumbs and a, a softer cheese. Mm -hmm. But when you, like you said, you get... You gotta dig in. Dig in. Dig yeah. in. <laughs> for the cheese pulls. Yeah. I want to try the buffalo. Let's get that over here. I'm like, I can ready to go. I've been... I can taste the pepper in that, so I know the pepper in this. It's gonna be even more. Yeah. So here's a look at the buffalo. Yeah. Careful though, that's hot. Yeah. Temperature in the place. We might need some waters over here. Okay. I'm gonna blow it. Oh wow. I wasn't expecting that. That's really good. It's not too spicy. Okay, hits you a little later. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was quick to say as that this is not spicy. It hit me. That hit me. Yeah, that hit me. Okay. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> here he is. Yeah. That one got her. <laughs> because it almost tastes like there's more than just buffalo sauce in it. Like I'm getting yeah. like different meat. flavors. I'm getting like heavy sure. meat vibes. That's almost as if there's like chicken in here too. Yeah. Like as if there's buffalo chicken. Well, it tastes like the buffalo chicken dip, like really hot. Yeah. All over really great baked noodles. Yeah. So I'm a I'm a total fan. Thank you so much. Yeah. Definitely Thanks needed for the those. <laughs> Cheers, Lange. Cheers. Let's do this. Buffalo is totally spicy, so if you're a fan of spice, you're gonna love it. And but also, it it's manageable as you keep eating through. It's not gonna like. Oh yeah, it's a situation where like you know your first bite will be like, oh okay, and then the more you eat it, the more you get used to it. Yeah. Or if you're not a spice yeah. person, then it gets hotter as you eat it. But exactly. I love spicy things. Totally so. great. So Amanda, can you tell us about your favorite mac and cheese here? I love this one. I also like that That's one too. The original. Yes, the original. Okay. I'm starting to become a fan of the Buffalo Mac, but I still go back to that one all the time. That's awesome. Yes. And we also do, we do chili mac. We can put our chili in the mac and cheese. Okay. That's really good. Is Has that like popular? Do people order that? Question? Yeah. It has like a little heat to it with the meat, with the mac and cheese. It's good. Um, but still. Now, like our commenters are asking, do you have a gluten-free option? No, we do not. No. Okay. Cool. They were just wondering. 
But we can come up with one. Yeah. Hey, that's what we like to hear. Yeah. 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 How long has the kitchen been running? For about four years. Four years? Yep. Cool. April. April 14th? Hold on. <laughs> She's going to check to see. She wants legitimate dates. Here we go. The Buffalo Spicy Mac. April 7th. April 7th? Yes. Four years ago? Yes. Okay. And it seems like it's very like family vibe. People know each other here. Yep. Yeah. And so people can come up to the counter and know they're going to get good food and good service. Yeah. And then if we're super busy, everyone does takeout. So they're still okay. getting their stuff, their food. And I know you guys are pretty busy around the lunch hour. What's like the peak hours and days? Breakfast. Breakfast? Every day. Uh, we do breakfast all day, every day. And around 8, 8.39. We get slammed. It's good. Yeah. And then we have a little break, and then around 11, 30, 12, we get hit for lunch. Yeah. Yes. But the comfort move, food is definitely the move in these February months. Oh, for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, Alanja and I are going to sign off. We just tried, we we're at stop two for Best of Mass. We yep. just tried the kitchens with Buffalo Mac and regular Mac. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you at stop three. I'm gonna get some more of this. <laughs> yeah. Off camera. Yeah, off camera, <laughs> we're gonna be tasting a little more. Okay. Bye. Bye. Guys.